Hi, I'm Holly from the blog of WolfFlourishing.com where I like to talk about living a life of intentionality. And if you haven't been following along on our journey yet, we uh, live in Virginia and we are about to embark on our uh, adventure to Texas where we visit our family. And it's about a 20 hour drive, a 20 hour travel. And this is the first time that we will be taking our camper. I have a three year old son and an almost three year old and an almost one year old and we are going to um, be doing this journey over the course of two, well, two nights and three days. And we're super excited. We just bought a pop-up camper about a month ago. And um, yeah, so uh, I've already done um, one video where I talked about, um, I kind of like showed the camper. Any anyways, there's videos linked below. And so I have some videos and posts that I will link below if you want to, if you're just joining and you haven't seen the other parts of our journey where I talk about my tips and tricks for driving with kids in the car, screen free, we are a screen free family, and also how we're doing the camper and uh, what it looks like, uh, what we pack and how we travel in a truck and with a camper and there's the little, my little dog inside, she's like, let me out mom. But anyways, if you would like to see more and um, see how we pack up our truck then just keep on watching so today was the day of our trip um, but it's actually afternoon and we have not left yet I just got done putting the boys down for the afternoon nap and I am looking haggard and feeling tired but it's been a good day we I stayed up till around 2 a.m. just getting everything totally packed. I mean, everything was ready, even in the refrigerator, had everything to put in the cooler. Um, absolutely everything was packed except for a very small handful of items that we had to wait until the morning to pack. But this morning, just things didn't, just didn't pan out like they needed to, and we found that the tail light wasn't working um, with the camper. Anyways, it was just kind of like one thing after another, and so um, I was just kind of feeling very stressed and I told my husband, well maybe, sorry I'm gonna change hands, I said maybe we can see, we had the campsites reserved for tonight and tomorrow night um, and they were about like 20 and $25 a piece and I said, well let's just see, even if it's like $40 of wasted or $45 of wasted money, it would be worth not setting out late because um, it probably would have been like 11 o'clock before we'd gotten on the road and that's just way too late. I had calculated that we really needed to be pulling out by 8 30 because we had about six hours of driving but we needed to stop for lunch and stop so the boys you know Jericho is taking steps and is learning to walk and they needed gross motor time so she said I think that we need to just see if we can push it back. It's not like we're trying to catch an airplane it's not like we have to be there at a certain time so let's just try and do that. So that's what we did. We were able to, for like a $10 fee each, so about 20 bucks, um, go ahead and push on each of the campsites back a day. And so we will start out in the morning and it's kind of nice because um, it's just been a very like, kind of more relaxed day. Um, my husband's gone and gotten the light to fix the tail light and um, we've just been kind of hanging with the boys. They were really missing mama and had been just I think they just wanted some family time so we went to a local toy shop and we just hung out there and played and and then we had some good lunch and we had smoothies and it's just been really enjoyable and they're down for a nap right now but I thought since I had time I would come out here and show you what it looks like inside the truck so we have a Toyota Tacoma and we are at some point going to need to upgrade to a bigger vehicle because we plan to have more children than what will fit in this car. But we have had this since my first year of teaching, so it has a lot of mileage on it. It's gone from Texas to Kentucky to Washington State to Virginia, back to Texas, back to Virginia. It's gone a lot of places. So it has a lot of miles, but it's in really great condition and we love it. And so the one thing about having a truck instead of like a van or something is that all of your stuff that you take is in the truck bed and so you have to think about when it rains um, that's always an issue that we have to contend with so we use tubs and I will show you what that looks like but first I'm going to show you what the inside of the truck looks like and how I have it all set up so so here's the front seat it's just pretty simple um see the Texas Ranger <laughs> 
representing. So here is the kitten bed for our little dog Sahara. This is my bag, um, and it'll be just like our family bag that has all the stuff that we need for the car. This is what we'll take in if we go anywhere. It's kind of like the diaper bag type thing. And then this has our clothes so that we don't have to actually get into our clothes bin, but it has our clothes for the next two days, so it has everybody's clothes in it. So that's pretty simple. Um, I can kind of show you what's in my bag here in a minute. I'll take it out and show you. So then in the back seat here, we have the two car seats. We've got Samson's facing, um, Samson is facing forward. And then, oh, we had to take Jericho's out because we had to take the other vehicle today. But anyways, Jericho will be facing backwards. I have a pillow back here because I can actually fit in between the boys and sit with them and hang out and sing and read books and stuff. So I have that for my back. Over there, under Jericho's, is our pile of books, and yes, we will read all of those. We are insane book monsters, so that is the majority of our stuff we take on the trip. And this is one of the new things that I had purchased um, that I haven't ever had before, so I will try and link this in the description box below. But so far, I'm really liking it, and I will just have to see if we end up really using it well, but I'll kind of go through what I'm taking. So I have some... These are just from Thrifted. I think these are actually free. They're just given to me. But um, these are Melissa and Doug sewing cards. We'll see if Simpson's into that. Sometimes he is, sometimes he isn't. But I think maybe if he's sitting here, he might be more into it. Um, I got some twistable crayons and um, I have like a little notebook that he can draw on. I brought these scissors along because this is like an elastic, like a jewelry elastic band that you can, you can make jewelry out of. And... I have some beads and I thought he might find it fun to um, make some bracelets for his cousins and his grand, uh, grandmothers um, and thought that might be fun. So this is my tried and true thing. I've, I've taken this on a lot of places and this I brought along more for Jericho this time instead of Samson. But I will try and link the post that I have this in in the description box. I think I have a post on it. I'll have to see. I'll open that with my teeth. Um, but these are basically, I just took pictures of each of these bugs. These, this is a um, tube, the Safari LTD, like insect tube, and you can get them at Michael's or even on Amazon. But I just took pictures of each one and then I've laminated them with my laminator. I'll try and link all of these materials below. I'll try not to forget. Um, but Samson likes to match them, but Jericho's in a state uh, right now where he really appreciates finding things that match. Like seeing that it's in a picture and it's the real thing and then it's a um, like a replica of it. He, he's really enjoying that right now. So I thought that might be great for him. This is just a teether for Jericho. Let's see, I got it from an Etsy store. This is actually from China years ago. This is just like a cling to the window. Um, let's see what else is in here. So here's some magnets. So Jericho mostly will chew on these. But he also likes them to come together. So um, it's just like a small set of magnets. So Samson is kind of playing go fish with me if I only play with like three sets, um, but he's, he's a pretty bright little dude so I was going to see if he could get the hang of the game and, and enjoy it. I do a lot of the Safari LTD tubes actually. So this is one that's like, uh, I think, I don't know if it's called aerospace, I'll try and link it below, but this just has airplanes and lots of different um, flying things, so like a hot air balloon, stuff like that. Let's see, this right here um, are several different faces that I've cut out with hats and eyes and everything. And it's just felt and they can make different faces. These go with our uh, beginner's Bible. This is going to be the David and Goliath. And so we have a felt board in our house, but um, sometimes I bring these and we make up the stories to them and act them out. And then I brought the creation one. Here is these little, I don't know if we're going to end up using them, but I bought them because I'm always having to push the kids' heads back when they're really in deep sleep. And so these go on their foreheads and are to help their heads from like, their necks from like drooping over. I don't know, we'll see. And then, uh, these are some small dinosaurs, I think from another safari tube. Let me see what else. So that's pretty much what I've got in there. Um, let's see. So then the last thing I have as far as like toys go. Ooh, it's got bad grass on it. I don't know from. So I usually just used to have it in like a bag, but whew, it makes the car like a terrible mess. So 
I went this time and, and I'm gonna bring it in a tub. So I'll just kind of lay these things out. So here are the beads. And I found these are really cool. They're just wooden and they're really beautiful. So I bought some wooden ones and I thought he could make it for his grandparents and his cousins and whoever he wants to. And that might be really fun. Have a couple of little men figurines. These are farm animal puppets. I did get these off of Amazon. They came where there's two of every animal. And so we'll sing Old McDonald and we'll play with those. These also came off of Amazon and this is just a set of like people. So we like to do Jack and Jill. We like any kind of like nursery rhyme we, we do with these. These are some more puppets. So you can tell we do lots of puppets. Um, and here's some more puppets. <laughs> I think these actually came from Ikea. That's where these came from. And then this is part of a stacking toy. It's a nice rattle for Jericho. We've got a couple of tractors. And I know some people this may annoy them, so you they may not like you may not want musical instruments, but we do. Um, and maybe if you have like lots of kids, you wouldn't want to do this, or you'd want to bring like softer musical instruments. But I find this to be really fun. We'll bring like a CD in the car and we'll sing songs and, and do this a little bit. My opinion is that if you can do 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, pretty soon you've made up the six hour journey or the seven hour journey, you know, every single day. And then I brought this ball for Jericho. So he's really into balls right now. So this is a fabric one I got off an of Etsy. And um, this is like a baby's first puzzle I got off the of Etsy. Teether off of Amazon. This is just like a pool ball, um, bean bag some different cars because it's really been into it lately. Here's some more shakers and actually a harmonica but it's got a really pretty sound. And then these are like nuts and bolts. So Samson, I keep trying to introduce these to him. Sorry, there's like a mower. It's kind of loud but I keep trying to introduce these to him and he still hasn't done them but I think he would really like them because it's right up his alley with the kind of stuff he does. I just think he's so gross motor that he hasn't ever taken the time to like sit down and see how they work so anyways oh and then I had this I guess I didn't show you this this little drawing doodle pro so I think that's about it so that tub anyways goes right there and then we have um, the books and oh and we have a mirror for Jericho and I guess that's about it so my tips for um, thinking of what to bring along are um, you can do snacks. We don't snack as a family. We eat breakfast. We eat a really good breakfast with protein and then we don't snack until we eat lunch and then the boys take a nap and when they get up from nap they have a very light snack so it's dinner and, and that's it. So snacks are really fun for us. So I did order some very special snacks and I can show you what I ordered here in a second. So snacks is the first thing and then the second thing is um, music. That's why I bring the instruments, but that doesn't always work. But the singing just seems to help a lot. So music. And then the third thing is um, I have a particular book. So I'm going to walk over here. So we don't really have any toys that make noises or we try to avoid them. We try to just have very open-ended toys. Sometimes we are gifted things that make noises, but for the most part, we we certainly don't buy them. But I did, I was given this book. My mom found it, her and I found it together at a secondhand shop before Samson was born. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then I realized, oh, I don't really want things that make noise, but no, <laughs> we are so thankful for this because this book is what has allowed us to survive when we drove with Samson at six months and 12 months all the way to Texas and we're gonna use it for Jericho so when the going gets rough and things are difficult and you need to distract the baby because you only have 30 minutes left and you just need to make it through and you're doing your musical instruments and you're doing snacks and you just like need the last 10 minutes or the last 30 minutes or whatever or the last hour even we have found that this book is magic it just you can get any book but it's just I don't know. We'll see if it works for Jericho, but it sure as heck made magic happen with Samson. So this is one of our secret tools of success. And then um, if it gets to the point where it is so bad, like I've said before, like we don't let our babies scream and cry, you know, in the car if we can absolutely help it. 
sometimes if you're stuck in traffic I mean you do everything you can do but you can't do anything but what I will do is I will show them pictures on my phone that I've taken or maybe show them some video footage of themselves and that will kind of help their mind kind of um, get distracted because what we don't want to happen is them to get so upset that They just go there and then we can't bring them back off of like the ledge So we just I tried to do everything that I can to keep them from getting to the ledge And then if we can just do that then we don't have a bunch of like screaming and crying and and we're good to go So so especially when you're dealing with a baby or any child that mouths things a lot so generally I would say like what 18 months and under um, but even two years and under um, I try to think a lot about textures so I'll try to offer fabrics things that are smooth and rough and make sounds and um, wood things that feel different on their gums and their teeth because they're they will spend a lot of time Jericho will spend a lot of time I mean he's obviously not gonna play with the dinosaurs like Samson would Sam so I try and come up with a lot of different things that sound different or make different textures or whatever those are my main um, tips and tricks so I hope that maybe will give you some ideas so here's our book box um, here is this is just from Ikea and I'm gonna I brought this along to go on Samson's lap I thought he might appreciate it to help him hold materials and if he's drawing or whatever so my trick for bringing books is I go to a secondhand shop and um, I get a bunch of books that are like paper back and I will generally try and find books that have a lot more like reading in them because that's I mean Samson really enjoys that and um, but I try to do a lot of paperback then he also because he's so into books I thought okay what are some new things we can learn about on this trip so we never talked about the Great Depression so this book we'll talk about we won't read it straight through maybe a little bit here and there and while we're on the trip but I thought that he would really enjoy um, learning about the Great Depression and we can act it out and stuff like that so Anyways, this one's for Jericho. <laughs> he loves dogs right now. So I brought that. I also found this book secondhand. I spy with two eyes. So we can, he, Samson's really into counting and so we can start to, to count with that. I brought our book that we're reading right now. Okay, my phone ran out of battery. But anyway, so we have a novel that we're bringing along. Um, I got these from Barnes & Noble. I really like, um, they're not a bridge. So it's the actual, so there's a lot of classics there right now in 2018, uh, May 2018. Uh, but there's a lot of classics there that are not a bridge. They're unabridged, but they have every few pages. There's like really lovely artwork. There's a booty, Mowgli, but anyways. Um, so we really like that, and then I did bring some board books for Jericho, just a couple. And then Samson, I did try and bring some camping themed books since we're camping, and he really enjoys these um, chapter books, and it's another way to pack something that takes a while, um, but doesn't take up a lot of space in here. So, so thanks for joining me as um, I went around and showed you all of how we do everything. I get so many questions from friends and family even and strangers. I get lots of direct messages on Instagram. Um, I get comments after people have read my travel posts just wondering how do you do it and how do you make it smoothly? Um, how do you make it go smoothly and how do you make it where you just enjoy your time together? And you know that we have gotten to where we um, just really enjoy traveling together as a family and so I just thought you know maybe somebody out there could use um, some of these ideas that and could glean some information from us but if you have any ideas I would love to hear them I would love to glean information from you so um, if you will comment below and let me know what your tips and tricks are for traveling with kids I can hear my little pooch, she's like, let me out. But anyways, if you have any tips or tricks, if you will post them in the description box because I would I would love to know or if you have any um, comments or ideas about traveling with a pop-up camper or anything like that, I would love to know. And if you will be sure to hit the, the thumbs up and like this video and that way other people can find my video too and get inspired hopefully. And I guess I'll talk to you soon. I guess we're starting on our trip tomorrow. So wish us luck.